Hi everyone, my name is Leia Charnin, much like Princess Leia after Star Wars. I am a psychologist based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And after a few weeks of many providers within the healthcare industry having shifted over to teletherapy and this virtual therapy platform, I wanted to address a couple of questions that have been coming up for me. Is this really effective? Do we lose something by having therapy over the video? So teletherapy has actually been going on since about 2006. The VA systems started integrating it because there were so many rural veterans that had to commute two, three hours to get to their VA hospitals. And they started implementing the system where they could have therapy appointments, even medical appointments, wellness checks over the video. So we look at that major study and then study since that time and see a lot of reports from individuals who've engaged in this form of therapy saying that they actually feel like it's pretty effective. They still feel connected to their therapist. I think one of the major reasons is because so much of therapy is the therapist stepping into the story of the client and joining them where they are building that relationship. And as we're able to do that, we can still very well and effectively do that over a video camera. So for example, in my sessions, I might ask some of my clients to show me around their space, to show me some of the things that bring them the most joy. There are moments with this virtual tool where we can actually really build more connection and also help individuals use their space in which they feel really comfortable in their home as a way to build the interventions and the skills that a client needs. So therapists are doing everything with their powers to use secure your resources. That means there's a lot of platforms out there that ensure higher level of security and protection of your information. Some of the parents that I've been working with, they ask, hey, do I have to stay around this entire appointment? I recommend stay in a different room, like go about your day. However, I'm still maybe going to be wanting to talk to parents just as I would in a family session or working with a teen. So recommending that they're within easy enough access so I can still talk to the parents during the session or at some point pull them in. But I do recommend giving your teen or yourselves private space. That way you feel secure in completing the session and having that privacy. Other questions is, why not just wait? Wait until we get back into the office. Well, unfortunately, we don't know how long that's going to be. And there can be so many different life stressors right now. And we really think about emotional and social wellness in the context of feeling disconnected from loved ones or feeling so much change. I know I felt that too within our personal relationships, within our jobs, that when we have change that's so significantly fast, we can feel increased stress, that cortisol increases. We might have fluctuations in our mood like sadness, feeling overwhelmed, feeling hopeless, feeling really stuck. We might even feel like this kind of grief for the things that we thought we were going to have now. So many people are in spring break, thought they were going to go on trips. I thought I was gonna go on a trip, right? Or anticipatory grief. Things that are coming up that we're not going to be able to enjoy in the way that we thought we were going to be able to. So this is a time to really continue nurturing your health, your wellness, in a period of life where none of us have really been given a roadmap of how to navigate it. And therapists are very much here for you. Our services are available. That therapy continues to be customized in a way that suits your needs, and we are here for you wellness to you. Please feel free to reach out to ask any questions and take care of yourself, your heart, and your family.